Speaking with her husband John Krasinski, Emily Blunt talks about seeing Barbie four times and sneaking into Oppenheimer screenings. John Krasinski, who made his breakthrough on the popular NBC comedy series The Office, and Emily Blunt, star of Oppenheimer, are one of Hollywood's most cherished pairs. Curiously, rather than Blunt on the red carpet, fans of the iconic mockumentary frequently want to see Krasinski with his former co-star, Jenna Fisher's Pam Beasley. In an episode of the Variety Awards Circuit podcast, Blunt said, Every time I walk beside him, people still shout out, I wish you were with Pam. When they ask where Pam is, I respond, she's not here. One of our best pals, Jenna, is someone we cherish. We discuss Blunt's part in Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, her take on the summertime madness surrounding Barbenheimer, and the possibility of an Edge of Tomorrow sequel in this episode of the Variety Awards Circuit podcast. Eve Hewson, the lead singer of Flora and Son, talks about writing songs and collaborating with filmmaker John Carney. The roundtable also discusses current affairs, such as Robert De Niro's modified Gotham Award speech and early predictions for precursor honors. Take a listen below. In-depth biography Oppenheimer tells the tale of Robert J. Oppenheimer, the man responsible for creating the atomic bomb, a weapon that changed the course of history forever. Blunt is joined in the movie by Cillian Murphy, Robert Downey Jr., Florence Pug, and Matt Damon. The film, which sparked the hashtag Barbenheimer movement by luring viewers to see Greta Gerwig's meta-comedy Barbie, has made over $1 billion in global box office receipts since its summer premiere. Blunt gushed about the craze, saying, I absolutely loved it.